Welcome to the official Butthole Podcast, bringing you movies, video games, and randomness in between. Now bringing your hosts, Scott, the Great Brandino, Gage's Rage, and Star Lamar. I wish you guys could see the video of Gage playing the sax live. (sighs) For our mm-hmm. intro. And he nails it every time. Music video for the show coming out soon. Saxy Gage. Did you play the sax growing up? I wish. Played with Were sax. Were you a band guy or a choir guy? I was a band guy. Okay. If you guys had to guess the instrument. Skin flute. Close. Clarinet? <laughs> uh, no. For, uh, you're See, getting colder. Colder? Flute? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a just the flute. I was Percussion. just the flute. Yeah, oh, no skin. The one no that's skin. like th- straight to the side. Yep, I yep. don't know so, much about these. Fuck, it's been a while. Yeah, you want to go? Just it's hey, like this. Yep. Open your mouth more. <laughs> oh, no, go back and <laughs> no, forth. No, no, no. Oh god, that <laughs> hey, visual would be hey, great. Do you know what though? If you take like a sh- here, I got the salt shaker. If I give it to you and you sprinkle it on your tongue, you'll taste the salt. Are you sure? Yeah. Wait. Hey, maybe you should check. record me so that we can see if I can. It's half full. There's still some left. Here you go, right, start. Here, let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, <laughs> don't suck on the show. salt shaker. <laughs> so salty. <laughs> no, I put the fl- and That's a visual that I don't know if I can masturbate anymore. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, I was definitely the only male flute player in my school. Dude, you were just going for it. So it was my you older brother and so was my younger brother. Though. And you took it. Was that because they didn't want to buy any other instruments? Yeah, we had the food already, so it just stuck in the family. I couldn't even do band. Parents no? like, we're not buying you fucking... There's a free class. You're singing There's in that one. There's a free class. I can't... My, the choir teacher told me to lip sync. <laughs> Seventh grade. Oh True God story. Damn. True fucking story. There, I couldn't... I'm tone deaf. I can't sing. <laughs> and she was like trying to get me to get it, and I couldn't get it. I can't even whistle in tune. And she goes, oh, why don't you just lip sync that part? <laughs> That part of the song. And me being fucking jackass that I am, I was saying so loud <laughs> and the country is twang I could like come up with. She's so pissed at me. Fuck you, Miss Rambilla. She did that to herself. She did. Yeah, you coming. think I'm gonna lip sync when you tell me no, I'm gonna be the loudest person. I was I got a song that I wrote the entire class saying in sixth grade. Oh shit. So I go from Miss Schuessler in sixth grade who takes my song and has everyone sing it. To a new teacher telling me to lip sync? Fuck off. You wrote the song. Yeah, it was a poem. Do you remember it still? <laughs> it was a poem. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it was, it was, anyone was allowed to bring in a poem or write a poem, mm-hmm. and they were going to pick one from each class to make a song out of. So people are bringing in their poems, and I'm on my notebook just writing shit down. So <laughs> I put it up there as a joke, and everyone was laughing at it, and we did it. It's just a bunch of random shit. Mm-hmm. Called it ADHD. <laughs> I had to get up. Can you read recite it, it for us, uh, or just I've, a couple lines at least? I had a pencil. I named it Kremsel. I saw a goose eating a moose. I sat in a table. There was a stable. The sun went down. The gophers frowned. ADD, ADHD. What do these letters mean to me? There's Damn. multiple verses. That's deep. That's good. I That's like deep. it. Yeah. That should be a real song. There's a, a name drop of Britney Spears. I had some friends' names in there. <laughs> we went all over the place with it. ADHD, all literally all over the place. Yeah. I, I was not know. in band or choir. I thought you had to what? be. I yeah, thought it was like state requirements. You a musical person. Uh, no, I could not sing to save my life. Well, I can with my headphones on and my music really loud. In the shower or in the car? It sounds really good. And there's a couple songs I can maybe hit. A little bit like not so much singing, but like raspy or talking. I'm definitely the one Like with- one of the greatest country singers ever. What's his name? Uh, Tim McGraw. He, no, he kind of, he talks, sings. Ooh. Uh, um, Gary Strucker. No. Brad Paisley. No, he like. Luke Combs. No, he's. He's like the greatest ever. George, George Strait? Strait? No. He's like, Jim Jones? Or not Jim Jones? Ah, uh, Sam Hunt. There we go. <laughs> I I can't quite hit it like Sam Hunt. He does a little bit better than me. Uh, but I can hit like some... Is that body like a back road? Yeah. But he does like breaking up in a small town. 
We oh, just yeah. talked. Yep. And breaking up was easy in the 90s. He talks on that one, too. I, you don't have to sing. Uh, Chris Young. I can't hit a little that. bit of Chris Young. A couple verses on some Kit Moores. I don't hit very many Luke Bryans. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm the passion. I'm always going one million percent if I'm going to sing. Can you give us some? Um, uh, can you give me some Roots by Zach Brown Band? That's just not the greatest song, you know? What? Let's, we'll do the math. Okay, okay, all we'll right. We'll do the math right, singer hold on. in a future episode. <laughs> yeah. I got this. We'll have to guess which one we, of us is yeah. singing. We are never getting back together by Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Speak now. No, dude. Ronan. I, I cannot do the Taylor Swift. I do in the car, but I cannot do it on the Oh, come on. Podcast. I'll give you the beat. <laughs> That was your hundred <laughs> percent. No, I'm joking. You it's, said if you sing, you give you it one hundred. One hundred percent. I was sing talking or talk singing that one. No, it's it's. You a can car do the high pitch squeal. I know you can. I'm the car karaoke. Yeah, it's a squeal. It's it's a painful for your ears sort of situation. Fair enough. Fair enough. Daylight savings this weekend. Star has a butthole beef. Oh yeah, really? I do because we would do this. During, you know, summer months. And I would drive home and the sun would still be out. Today I was driving here and the sun was already down. That's some bullshit. <laughs> I'm tired by the time we start. And it probably shows. Listeners can probably go, Star sounds tired. He's a little that bit man, more withdrawn than he normally is. That man needs the sun. And it, you're free Sunshine today. is better than moonshine. Was he even here during the fantasy episode? <laughs> no. Wait, uh, I took a quick 15 minute nap where Gage was talking. Are you saying that while you were playing or while you were growing up, daylight savings time was in the summer? No, I said back when we were doing this in the summer. Oh, podcasting. Okay. okay. By the time we finished, and we go late. We're working hard for you guys. We do we're go we're, all we're for coming you. in on weekends. Yep. We're doing hard work. But I would drive home. It would be Scott, nine. Right? Who? Well, Scott. three. <laughs> Three of us are here. 9.30, I'd be driving home, and I'd be watching the sun go down. Beautiful. You know Scott now is thinking we are never getting back together in his car tomorrow morning. He's like, we are never, ever, ever. God, the podcast goes off the rails when I'm not there. And this episode is brought to you by Thrive Fantasy. (laughs) Damn it, we missed it. I think we missed it on the last one, too. Uh, Yeah, we're brought to you by Thrive Fantasy and Shock. Fantasy. fantasy, both super fun fantasy football stuff, but this is not about fantasy football. I know, so we don't need to bring it up. I do. Scott can take it up with our fucking HR department. I'm going to grab that note, and I'm going to wrinkle it up, and I'm going to throw it in a garbage can. <laughs> this We are the rails. Uh, I, I do like daylight savings time in the fall. In the fall only is the, the right fall. answer. <laughs> we should just always have it in fall the fall. Fall back. Just keep falling back. Don't ever <laughs> spring <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Why do we have to spring forward? That's bullshit. I like Why that is it dark at sleep. noon? Well, it's midnight. Did you guys take advantage of your extra hour Saturday night after I got Halloween? one extra hour of sleep. Gee. Dude, dude you, I have was, a, you have a child. I, I was, thought it doesn't count if you have children. Dude, she is great at sleeping. She is so good at sleeping. She went to bed early, and she woke up late. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was so zonked on Saturday. I went out duck hunting in the morning, and every time it sounds like a good idea in the afternoon, and then my alarm goes off at like 530. I'm like, fuck. This. God damn. So we go out. We got skunked, but we had a good time. We just hung out, and then I went, and I worked with my dad. On and, Halloween? Yep. Holiday pick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, weekend and holiday pay, believe it or uh, not. The double, double time. But then then we're getting ready for going out trick-or-treating and bringing Nora out and whatever. So we, we were doing all that, and 8 o'clock rolls around. I'm laying down on the, the living room floor. I'm falling asleep. And Cody and I planned to go out in the morning. And I was like, dude. <laughs> I text him. I was like, hey, so you want to go out? He's like, yeah, I mean, I'm game if you are. Maybe we should reschedule. <laughs> it is eight o'clock and I am sleeping. There's no fucking way I want to get up at five thirty to go out. And I mean, it's we have to be out there at six thirty. But I like to set my alarm an hour in advance and then wake up frantically with five minutes to spare. It's how I lived my life. That's a, the panic is the better than coffee. That's what gets me up in the morning. <laughs> shit, that heart rate. Oh shit, I'm late. Boom, I'm awake. 
Not going back to bed after that. Uh, so I enjoyed an extra hour of sleep. Did you dress up? Uh, I wore all my camo and stuff. I was going to go as Joe Dirt because my hair is starting to get a little long, but <laughs> I didn't have the right attire for it. It's pronounced Dear Tay. <laughs> Dear Tay, sorry. What was Nora? She was a little pig. A little pig. Which, ironically, um, one of our good friends, Take Jod, uh, lives in the neighborhood, and we went, walked around with them for a little bit, and their daughter was a pig as well. Oh, same pig, costume or different one? It was a different one, but I mean, same concept. Yeah. Star, how about you? How did you enjoy the extra hour? Um, the only thing it allowed me to do was watch more TV before football started <laughs> on Sunday because I normally wake up at a certain time, and I was up at that same time, but an hour earlier because of the time difference. So, you know, I watched Aladdin with Will Smith. You know Ooh, how I feel action. about Princess Jasmine. <laughs> we do. We definitely do. Halloween was So nothing. does the FBI. <laughs> I'm getting too old for Halloween. Sure. Didn't dress up. Never really thought it was cool or anything. I didn't grow up in Anoka. <laughs> the so Halloween capital of the world. I didn't have it forced down my throat. I'm hey, on force, go. It's not forced, okay? <laughs> uh, the way you were uh, <laughs> eating that salt shaker, I feel like you don't mind it forced down the throat. <laughs> a little lubrication would be nice. <clears throat> All right, I'll take over here. Since it was a full moon on Halloween. Blue moon. Blue moon just means it's the second full moon in the month. No, I know. But, but a blue moon is way more rare, and for that to fall on Halloween, and Halloween was on Friday the 13th. It was actually... <laughs> God, I'm, not even, I'm so stupid. Uh, I had an extra hour of drinks, and it was fun. I had a Halloween party. Ended up getting a uh, sketch and a ride home with my brother. That was nice. Uh, what was not nice was him, his daughter, Violet, my niece, my little goddaughter, Waking me up at 7 o'clock because she is definitely the age where she doesn't care what time it is. It's wake-up time, <laughs> and it was still regular time. My door was not locked, and I got a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wake up, Gage. And I, like, fuck, I barely get my eyes open after, like, three hours of sleep. No, Violet, I'm not going to play games with you right now. I need to sleep. And I just, like, kind of just fell back asleep. And then she came, like, right at my face this time, <laughs> like, wake up, and she scared the shit out of me that second time, and then I think she realized, like, oh, no, Gage doesn't want to play right now. <laughs> Got a hangover. <laughs> fuck out of here. You guys seen that School of Rock? Oh, I, yeah. It's been a long time. I Hell got a yeah. hangover. Does anybody know what that means? <laughs> it means you're drunk. No, it means I was drunk yesterday. <laughs> yes, I definitely had one of them. Uh... Uh, tried to go get my car back. It was still trapped in the driveway by other cars. So I had to go watch the the game at my brother's house, and we went and got our cars later. But the hangovers are longer and longer and longer, man. They're... Yeah, when you get old like you. <laughs> I was still feeling disease, it this morning. <laughs> you need to quit drinking. What were you drinking? I was I drinking... Guess? Sure. Angry Orchards? Wrong. Mike's Hard Lemonades? Wrong. Um, yeah. some kind of Bud Light seltzers. Uh, Ooh. Bud Platinum uh, seltzers. Core seltzers. Core seltzers for and, the win. And Captain McGillicuddy's. Nope, just Core seltzers. Uh, Tommy, shout out for hosting the Halloween party, does have a Jaeger machine. So it was ice cold. Had a couple shots of that, too. You want to know how I know he's never drank Jag before? Because he's got a Jag machine? Because he calls it Jaeger. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Jagermeister. Jag bombs? My cousin. Uh, Jag bombs are delicious, okay? You don't even know what a Jag bomb is. What the fuck I are you know, even talking I'm, about? I'm trying to think about how to say his name backwards. Nevin? Ne- Nevid. 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 Sure. Nevid. Nevid. There we go. Uh, he's like telling us at a birthday party the other weekend, I had Jagermeister for the first time. We had Jagermeister bombs. <laughs> oh, like, my God. It's like, so I know that you're telling the truth because nobody calls them Jagermeister bombs. <laughs> Yag bomb. <laughs> God, that was a good video back in the day. Some original YouTube shit. Broski. Another broski. <laughs> GTL. Yag bombs for days. Yeah. So- oh, man. We were talking about Yag while we were hunting on Saturday morning, and that's one drink that Cody can't drink. It's ran its course through him. Dude, we, we went to a party once. Well, we hosted a party at somebody else's house, uh, which, okay, funny story. I'll get into this. So we were in high school, uh, second half of senior year. 
of and, college, right? Yes, of college, yes. And there's there's this girl, and she's like, yeah, so, like, my grandma's got a farm. She doesn't live there anymore. We're like, oh, sick. Let's uh, Project X had just come out, like, a couple months earlier. Like, let's, <laughs> let's go have some fun. So we went, we scoped it out. We got super drunk the night before. I mean, just drinking Jag and taking... Did you get a Jagermeister machine? We did not have a Jagermeister machine. Did you so have a freezer? No. Oh. No, it doesn't it was, do the same job. It was Star. cold outside. Nice try. But there's like seven of us, and um, we're just it's just Yag, and we only bought like one monster. So a bottle of Yag and one monster, because we were we we're cheap. Like, oh, let's save some money and not spend the extra four bucks on a monster. So we're just getting <laughs> shit faced. Oh, and Cody had a rough one, a really rough one. We all had a rough one, but Cody was by far the worst. And we go out there the next night. We went to a playoff basketball game. We lost. We're like, oh, fuck it. Let's just, let's go out. Let's have a party. So we're out there and we're in the house and they have this big ass shed in the back. We're like, oh, okay, let's go back in the shed. And I walk back there. I walk out. I look. I'm like, oh, fuck. Cops had come. Turns out it was her grandma's place, but it was foreclosed on. So <laughs> the bank technically owned it at that point. And the neighbors had called and the cops came and blocked off the driveway because they saw the lights in the house. They thought somebody was robbing the place. Oh, shit. So technically, she didn't have to move out at that point quite yet. But it was really, really close. So we had a ton of people there. And I walk outside. And fortunately, I wasn't drinking that night. I had a really rough night the night before. And I was like, all right. You know what, guys? You go ahead. Have fun. I'm just going to drive home. I'll be your sober cab. And I was, you know, I was only 17. I was still in high school. And I walk out. And I see the cops. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, guys, get off the fucking lawnmowers. And there's cops here. So they come out and they fucking everybody scatters. There's like just me left. I'm just standing there. And they're pissed off because literally everybody ran. They're like, I'm not going to fucking run in all the mud and go find these dumbass kids. <laughs> the cops. Yeah. So they're talking to me and I'm like, nope. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm from out of town. I don't know anybody here. One girl gives up everybody. It's like so-and-so went this way. So-and-so went that way. They were here. They were here. She got a bad rep for that. Who's that bitch? Uh, I'm not going to name drop or anything like that, but she went to school. She was a year younger than us. That's her job, right? It, yeah, name dropper. <laughs> uh, Scott was there. Scott booked it. Scott had his truck there. And so, obviously, they pull the license plate information, and they call Scott's parents. And oh. They're like, oh, no, I think Scott was here. I think Scott was here this night. At home, that was. Long story short, everybody booked it. Oh, his parents covered for him? Yeah. Of course, Molly would. So a lot of other people had to do community service or like a class to say how teen drinking is bad. I got a fake ID, though. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. It was a good time, but it was pretty nerve wracking at first. We thought people were going to jail because the cops came and said that this is bank owned property and blah, blah, blah. And you guys are all stealing and whatever. And they were super cool. They were chill. I didn't even know you had cops in Watertown. (laughs) Yeah, we got one. Yeah, <laughs> he's he over at my house the other day too. In. Actually, hundred bad days. My car got broken into. Well, <sighs> it got opened, <clears throat> and money stolen out of it. <laughs> Technically, still a break in, even if you don't have to break yeah. the lock open. <laughs> How many people were at that party? Um, that night that was there's maybe like twenty people there. Because I, mean, I, I was picturing you and like four of your buddies. Drinking a bottle of Jagger with one can of Monster, <laughs> on the, trying on the to recreate, lawnmower. trying to recreate Project X. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is gonna be so lit. Jump we're off the roof here. We're gonna have Cody here. Dustin's coming. Let's go. <laughs> we're gonna rip no. shitties on the John Deere. <laughs> we were we were planning on doing it the next weekend and like getting a keg and doing all that shit. And was the lady whose grandma's? She ran too. So she she was there, but she dipped. She was there and she dipped, and because she would have been the one that could, like get you out of it potentially. Oh no, she nope, she didn't care. She was out. Yep, she was out. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. No, they broke Gotta in. Love it. High school party. Yeah, it was a good time. Actually, going back to just sitting around a fire, we had picked up um, wild turkey. By the way, I do not advise picking up wild turkey. One hundred and one, it's rough. Yeah. I thought I was going to be a badass and drink it. I was like, oh, I'm just going to drink this whiskey. I think I remember or this, maybe actually. <laughs> I might went, have been there for that one. You might have been. It was We were on the pit. We were having a bonfire. And um, I was watching too much Justified. I wanted to be Raylan Jennings. 
Or Givens. Givens, Raylan Givens. And I wasn't. I 100% wasn't. I peed on Matt that night. <laughs> I, <laughs> I tried chewing for the first time. I got... Uh, and if you, were you drinking? <laughs> I'm sure that didn't end well yeah. for your stomach. No, but uh, back in my, my heavy drinking days, um, a lot of puking. A lot of puking. I would make myself puke. So I'm like, I just want to feel better oh, yeah. in the morning. That's always the move. That it's classic move. I and you, I'm surrounded by alcoholics right now. Well, Enthusiast, I mean, previous alcoholics. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, it, that was a rough night. That was a really, really rough night. I was not there at the pit. Sorry. I don't think. You, I, yeah, I didn't think so. But I was like, okay, maybe I was pretty drunk, so maybe I don't know. But yeah, uh, my recommendation: if you're gonna try chewing, don't chew. And I think it's bourbon. Don't chew and drink straight bourbon. And take a, just a swig of Coke in between. It doesn't end well. Ugh. No, thank you. I think I'm never even going to try drinking after these stories. <laughs> Until Saturday. Oh, have you ever heard the story about how I met Gage? Was it? Have we told it on there before? I don't know if we have. It was, uh, we're college roommates, obviously. Just a little online chat before we finally met in person. Yeah, I went back and I found the. The original message? The text message. Or oh. the Facebook message, yeah. You're so sentimental. I know. Eh. You could get framed that first conversation starter. <laughs> you like the Vikings? Yeah, yeah I, lo- I love the Vikings. Sick, me too. You <laughs> like video games? I play video games. Sick. What do you play? PlayStation? Awesome. <laughs> what do you play? Oh, no Xbox? way. I said no, awesome. I, that was, yeah, you said awesome. And no, like, I would I not play say Xbox, you're awesome but... for playing PlayStation. But I like boys, too. And I was like, okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> that's whatever. <laughs> Frame it up. <laughs> like, you love football? Yeah. I what show about soccer? Up. No, fuck soccer. We're, we're you into soccer? No, we both hated yeah. soccer. That was when we're like, you want to be best friends? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> want to do karate in our double-sized room? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll put a bunk bed up so we have more space for activities. <laughs> so I was out socializing. Yeah, was Brandon was being people. a great freshman day one, and I just showed up a little late and... uh. Got my room all loaded up, went to bed, had a reasonable time. Had the Xbox going, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know if I brought the Xbox up. Maybe not at that point. Yeah, I, I might have left it at home. I was more into League of Legends at that time, mm. the computer games. And I did have a girlfriend that went to NDSU, so we hung out. <laughs> she, went, <laughs> she went back to her dorm. I went to mine. I was ready to pass out. Then it's probably, fuck, I don't even know what time. Dark. Uh, hey, well, it was dark. I wake up, not to, a, oh, hey, Gage, I'm your roommate. Nice to meet you. I wake up to a fucking. The door from the gates of hell <laughs> slamming shut. <laughs> <laughs> Wham, that fucker slams. And I shoot up like a rocket. Uh, and then he got out of I'm bed. I'm Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm Gage. Shake your hand. I'm fucking half tired. And you're I'm going to bed. Half drunk. <laughs> so the doors are made of solid wood material. Yeah. Like super solid. They're oversized doors too. They're like nine feet tall. And they are designed to close. They, they're not soft close either. <laughs> I found that out many, many times. You probably woke up other people. That were I there. woke oh, up yeah. the whole fucking floor. <laughs> so when the windows open, the hallway creates a suction. And so I went and I gently closed the door like a gentleman. He just pushes it behind him and it's just slowly gaining speed like it's falling off the 12th story of a fucking skyscraper. It it was my first night there too. Yes. So a little bit of like understanding on your end, hopefully. (laughs) Um, It made me jump. (laughs) I wet my pants for multiple reasons that night. I was dreaming about it. It, So that's how we first met. Gage uh, shit his pants and then his... Um, C word girlfriend never liked me after that. How quickly did you ask for a new roommate? <laughs> Immediately. I didn't. I just fucking dropped out of college. I can't do this. <laughs> this guy's ruining He's a fucking my dick. academics. <laughs> we had some good times there. We had. Oh, some, there was awesome times. Uh, at one point, that, we're gonna have uh, to tell the story of <laughs> you saving my ass. I did. I did. <laughs> we'll save that for another podcast, though. The. The uh, the colder who can handle the cold contest that I won, um, debatable. The sh- the shower shampoo prank that was yeah. Classic. He kept putting it in my pubes, and I was like, "It's not going away." <laughs> it's some more scrubbing it a little harder. <laughs> good times, man. Good times. Hard to believe that was eight years ago. 
Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> oh, and you're old. Yeah. Not as old as you, Dusty Balls. Now we're getting back to college days. He's like, oh, well. <laughs> Stop flirting with me, okay? I'm a married man now. Yeah. All right? Mean... When I was 18 and a spry young guy, all right, yeah, maybe. I'll try anything twice. But... So what if I have to use head and shoulders on my balls? <laughs> yes. That's awesome, Dusty man. Balls over there. He's good. Dander on his fucking ball sack. Is it like, do you use lotion? No. Head and shoulders is the trick. Dry. Does it? They make like Dove men soap too with moisturizer. Like quarter moisturizer built in. I'll have to ask Paige really? if you've changed to that or not. Is it like flake, I know you wouldn't know. Like a f- completely flaky ball sack? Yeah. Like, like if you rub it, you like thought from it underneath? Thought does it, it look like, like it's like sunburn after like three days? Yeah. Scratch. Yeah, that's... Does your balls. balls just always look like that? Does it matter whether it's cold I didn't know there was anything different. He's got the Benjamin Button of ball sacks. So it's like an old one? Is it growing <laughs> up into you? It's, it's reversing. <laughs> Only it's, in cold weather. When he was young, it was And dry. warm weather. Like a nice cold 4th of July night. Oh, my God. Gage's classic line. And I think the first bet we ever made, he was like, I bet you 10 bucks my dick's smaller than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. We've already done this one, man. <laughs> And it's not right to do it behind his back, okay? I was like, I... Oh, no, I was talking about our bets. Because you had bet me that multiple times. I'm like, sorry, man, I don't... I don't. There's no winner. <laughs> Both people lose, but they're... That they're, bet is 100 times more funny for me saying it than the guy who's getting asked. <laughs> 20 bucks, you're glad to hand away. Oh, man. Fuck. Well, there's a little trip down memory lane. Yeah. And Scott says we get off the rails. <sighs> we the get our sponsors. What? Oh, we were going to talk about video games, but we already reached our time limit. <laughs> yeah, we so. did a little bit back in college. We talked video games. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, we did. We played a lot of COD back in the day. And there's a new one coming oh, out man. soon. I remember getting yelled at by the guy who was next door to me. He, he hated said, you. He hated me. You didn't I, play with the headset. You just... Blasted the fucking volume. Blasted the volume and then would scream when I'd get killed. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> that he, pie chart that says reasons why you're killed and 35% is like lag and then the rest is fucking bullshit. That's Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Control fucking <again>. bullshit. <laughs> lag was real in the college dorm. And I'll tell you what, the doors were thicker than the walls. So you I, could hear? Oh, yeah. Well, they could hear me. I'll tell you that. We could hear their pencils scribbling away while they're studying. And he <laughs> pounded on the wall, and he's like, "Shut the fuck up!" I was like, "Dude, it's noon. You <laughs> shut up. You're lucky I'm not doing this at two a.m." We still did it at two. Out? What? Did you ever like go and hang out with them? Or was no. That complete. We had, I got a couple time. glances in the hallways, though. I'll tell I you got that pretty much. tight with our uh, our floor RA because he played League of Legends too. <laughs> so me and him were cool. I was not tight with... <laughs> Three floors above us, R.A. The, yeah, he did not like me. What'd you do? I was super loud. We'll save this. That, that's we'll a save. good story for another bit. Yeah, I I may have had one too many drinks. And I was a not little Not on loud. a dry campus, though. Maybe. It's allegedly. He was such a fucking rule follower, too. Guy is such a douche. Hey, Even followers. super fan E-Corp, uh had a run-in with him, right? Ecorb. Ecorb. Oh, uh, no, she didn't. Her friend was. Oh, okay. She worked with him. Story. Okay. Yeah, okay. he worked for the, like. Guild by Association. Kind of, yeah. Actually, she room- her friend roomed with him. They were roommates after he was not the RA anymore. That sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that much fun. <laughs> Some people just like to follow rules. <laughs> Some people Not like me. to watch the world burn. <laughs> I definitely burnt the world down my freshman year. That's for sure. But anyways, uh, we'll tell that story maybe maybe next time we have our, our butthole bit. Hell yeah. I got a couple college stories. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. <laughs> the first party we ever threw in that house was when we didn't rent the house yet. There are like six of you guys hanging around, passing around Jagermeister and Monster. <laughs> That's nice of you to think that I had six friends. There was four of us. Oh. And that included counting me twice because my alter ego came out. No, no, we'll tell that one another time. But I think that wraps up this 
butthole bit yeah. episode where we talked about video games and Thrive Fantasy. Fantasy. Go jerk off. Bye. Check out our website, www.officialbutthole.com. We're on all socials at Official Butthole. Please leave yeah, us a dude. rating and review <laughs> on Apple Music, and we'll see you next time. That's a rattle. Uh, we could talk for hours. I know. I don't know how. I did with my RAs. I think it was like a daily thing. Like, yeah, because I know we get a lot of complaints. And they would just tell us to be quiet. And I'd be like, 300 pounds. Like, I'm fucking fat. Like, I can't just be quiet. And then they would like, up and I just stomp down, like jump. <laughs>